Will Honda add to the negative stereotype that electric cars have around the world, unfortunately, still with their new Honda E that have released a few more images and a few more videos? So now we can we pretty much know what the production uh, uh, car is going to look like. Uh, the price we're still guessing, but most of the specs are out. And I'm wondering, is this a car that will continue that 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 creating really? Uh, the myths about electric cars. So I'll tell you all about the information, but there are a couple of positive things that I like about this car. I kind of wish other cars had that. Uh, and I'll tell you about that as well right now. Welcome to E4 Electric, your number one source of unbiased electric car news. If this is your first time here, go ahead and click on that subscribe button down there in the bell notification icon so you don't miss anything moving forward. All right, um, I, I, I know some of you are wondering, Alex, you know, your channel is about electric cars. You usually praise any any attempt on uh, an electric car, an electric vehicle, electric vehicle technology. Uh, why are you being all uh, Debbie Downer about this? Well, uh, here's the thing. And by the way, a lot of people are also saying, oh, how can this cute little car be so, you know, damn negative and bad for us? Um, you know, but cute things can be uh, disappointments. And obviously, if you don't know that, you haven't been using dating apps lately. But enough about my problems. About my, uh, about, yeah. So uh, how can this car be a disappointment? Um, you know, and, and why am I, you know, kind of going there? The, I think the responsibility of all of us uh, here who are part of this electric car movement is not only praise when, when a company does something really well, but also if somebody is actually uh, 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 damaging the reputation of the movement, I think it's up to us to call them out. Now, this is the first electric car from Honda, essentially. Um, they had plenty of time to try to catch up. And yes, it is very cute, uh, which, you know, some people may not like. I, I personally like, I, I, you know, it looks like an iMac of uh, uh, of cars. Remember the iMac, the thing that's kind of turned Apple around uh, before even the iPod uh, at least started to turn Apple around? Well, this is very cute and uh, it's got some interesting curves and then got some interesting uh, features. Um, so that that could be a good thing. It could be a bad thing. To me, I, I like it. I, I, I like the look of this car. Um, I think it uh, showcases the technology overall, um, that cars are becoming more technologically advanced and uh, better looking. Um, but that aside, the, uh, you know, Honda had plenty of time. And uh, I, this is the first car that's going to be on the market next year, 2020, right? Um, you know, if you compare it to what's already on the market with uh, Kia, uh, Niro EV, Hyundai uh, Kona EV, Nissan Leaf, Chevy Bolt, and so forth, um, you know, they all have almost double of the specs. And this is, let, let me tell you about the specs. Um, it, converting to the EPA uh, rating, this car will only have about a 100 mile range. Um, it has a 35 and a half uh, kilowatt hour battery. So, you know, and, 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 and listen, I, I know plenty of people will find that range just fine. I have a Volt here and it only has 40 miles of electric uh, car range and that is plenty for me. I rarely use gas, only maybe mainly on a, a long trips, which I originally bought this car for. Um, so I understand that 100 miles, especially in Europe where everything is, the distances are much shorter than the United States. Uh, it is very much an acceptable range. Um, but, uh, I would only say okay to that if the price was $20,000, you know, something like, okay, you don't get a, a big range, but we're going to, you can, you can pick it up for, for, for a good price, but even 25, anything with a two uh, in front of it. But unfortunately the rumors are, it's going to be on par with all of the other cars that I've mentioned that all have a range in uh, their 200s, including the Nissan Leaf, right? Uh, and looks like this car is in conversion from Europe uh, is gonna cost about $35,000 or so. Um, it doesn't look like it's coming to America anytime soon, but it's gonna definitely launch in Europe there, though um, I'm not sure if it's gonna do well. Maybe that's the reason uh, it's not, uh, it's not going to do well in the United States. Uh, and, you know, as they, as they produced the video, uh, they, uh, they, uh, uh, it's a short, boring video, but um, the feature that they've emphasized the most is how 
uh, how it can turn in circles on a dime, right? And that kind of the biggest feature, the the the, the, the turn feature, as uh, the advertising. I, I think there are a couple of other features that I like. So let me let me let me turn positive a little bit and tell you about a couple of features that I definitely think that they've done right. It has nothing to do with electric technology, but nevertheless, before that, a quick reminder that this video and this channel is sponsored by Byton. Check out their all electric SUV starting at only forty five thousand dollars coming to the U.S. and Europe at the end of the next year. So this is a good time to reserve one before the reservation uh, list goes like off the charts it costs you a zero dollars in about i don't know 60 seconds of your time uh, there's a link in the description of this video so you can get one today all right so um let's talk about something that i really like and unfortunately uh, you know when i was looking for pictures for this car um usually you go to the press site or social media or youtube and just they they're like here please do use them for your for your uh, uh uh, report, but this car was hard to find the pictures of. So even on their own press sites, it's nowhere near to be found. It almost like they're kind of not wanting to talk about it. So that's unfortunate. So this picture I've actually taken, it's a still from a fully charged video um, that they kind of had a review and exclusive access to the car. So, um, and I do like the uh, dashboard. Now, uh, it kind of reminds me of Byton's dashboard, which I really do like. I think uh, having a, a flat screen uh, right in front of you uh, is, is great. Uh, and it looks like they're going for the same thing. I know there are concerns. Well, how can you see the road behind it? Trust me, you can see the road. I'm almost tired fending off these comments about Byton and then maybe this one will get the same. Um, because it just sits too low and the graphics is pretty big so essentially uh it is something that uh is assisting you not to take your eyes off the road too much so you don't have to go all the way down here where your monitors are but you can kind of lower it slightly it's almost like heads up display if you will so anyway th that's not a problem trust me if, if you ever sit in in Byton or any of these cars you'll see that it's actually a, a pretty amazing experience um so that's so that's one thing that i really liked and look at the side mirrors there on your right now these are digital um this is a, a side mirror cameras and unlike uh um audi uh e-tron check out the audi e-tron ones i really hated it because you have to see the uh, see the camera and this is me test driving uh, the car in spain um the monitor for it is lower on the eye side where it normally would be and on the left and on the right so i really really dislike that really dislike that but the uh, side mirrors for um, this car is uh, for the Honda E are much, much better. They essentially the cameras are outside, which is and by the way, you see in Audi, they were sticking out a lot uh, here. They're not sticking out that much at all. So I understand that uh, obviously the uh, aerodynamics has been uh, significantly improved, improving the range which obviously this is probably the most disappointing uh, part of the car. But I really like the way the monitors are displayed on inside. Boom, right there. See, it's kind of in the same uh, plane uh, 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 level with uh, where the other the, the regular mirror would be. As you can see, uh, the regular mirrors, because of the rain and fog and all of that stuff, can be uh, harder to see. This one's always going to be inside, so the the the, uh, the view is going to be pretty much as perfect as it gets. So I really like it in the right spot, and I really, really, uh, really think that they did a really good job with that. So some positives here: I, uh, they didn't do every, you know, everything wrong. Um, so exterior, uh, the dashboard, and the side mirror uh, um, cameras, I think, are a win. Uh, the mileage, the range is not. I, I, I don't like it. But at the same time, listen. Um, there are over 30,000 reservations for this car, mainly uh, in some of the main European countries that are the most uh, electric car friendly, like Norway and Germany and so forth. Um, and I, uh, listen, I, I, I do want to root for this car as well, even though I'm also afraid that it's going to give all the naysayers more sort of tools, right? Saying, see, we told you these cars are all tiny and then go too very far. And, and, and so hopefully that won't happen but let me know what do you think uh um let me know in the comment section and while you're doing that don't forget to get on our vip list it's free uh just like the Biden reservation uh but you also get uh on every saturday you get a bonus story so check that out at evoelectric.com slash vip all right looking forward to all of your comments other than that see you next time and remember to stay charged